Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Rabenschild. Today I want to address the front of the ship a bit and I want to maybe work out how many of the connectors I can put into the landing bay and see how many ships we can safely and connected, yeah, mainly connected store in here. I have put down thrusters to each side now so that I could remove the sticking out thing there at the bottom and it's time that the sun comes around. I'm working sometimes in, not in darkness here, but I it it is so weird the the light of the suit is definitely not enough in sun but uh, without it it's also not possible to work good um what did i do in the last yeah i've put down uh, gravity and a few more gyroscopes so now we can uh we can get our stuff here without uh, having to <laughs> to precisely fly from place to place um, and otherwise I've closed some I've closed some holes and all that stuff uh, this thing here I needed to modify because I made it too short <laughs> we, uh, you, you can see that I closed it off on the bottom and that's not the bottom but that's that's okay I I will work on this um, still and so we we uh, I don't see any problem with that good okay what I want to do here is we want to elongate the whole thing a bit then maybe make it a bit wider to the front and I had some measurements about here where I could put down some blocks to see here i will go out three more blocks and um have the the gap closed here so that i at least to the to the side so that this sticks oh what do we have here a tunnel drone i don't even know what that is but it seems that we are dealing with it. That's a good thing. The noise is so crazy. Now stuff comes flying at me. That's that's always a problem. That's the thing that I noticed is that if you shoot down the things, then you have to deal with the debris. Um, sometimes the the debris then does damage. Uh, in that that comes in and gives us a bit of a hard time but that's okay so I want to okay, you ah this is so so weird because it's also a thing that I haven't figured out yet how to how to place this but I want to go down completely make it then one high like on the top but I want to have an asymmetrical um, layout. So the, I want to have it on the top, a certain amount of blocks wide. I think I wanted to go with uh, three. And on the bottom, I will make it wider so that I can have a, that I can have a, a thing on the bottom sticking out going a bit more to the front where I can put in glass or something like that and I also oh, I didn't think about this I wanted to make the whole thing a bit longer or we make the bridge a bit smaller And then we still need space for the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, 
for the front storage and I want to have it in front of the bridge but a bit farther away okay let us see the bridge now is I think too wide man always hit my head on, on stuff here it's not good um this is I'm still going with this this three wide patterns so or not three wide three three block patterns so this is two three one two three one two three maybe this would be enough there's in the end there will be two seats in the bridge on the bridge or something not too much maybe and then i i don't have to elongate it too crazily and i can just go with putting it some some blocks in the front here that I, I think that that will work out so i will make it a bit longer and also maybe think about moving this a few blocks over and then have something on the bottom sticking out just just a bit it it's just three six blocks or something like that just so it just gives it a bit more yeah a bit more of a different form um the thrusters i want to put above that um, i'm not sure how many thrusters i will get in maybe i need to put some some thrusters somewhere else maybe hide it internally or so um and i'm not sure if i really want to put in thrusters down here i could also have some um some gates down here have um have some i don't know it's yeah we 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 have so much space again that i can't really really tell how much we will really need of it good uh, people let me build a few minutes and let me let me do some some work and then i'm coming back to you with hopefully a few things done i got carried away and now someone outside started up his power tools and is doing yard work uh i don't know there was just a chainsaw or something running and it sounded like i don't know what the person was doing with it it sounded not right um i redesigned the front of the whole ship a bit uh, and now something <laughs> something a leaf blower or something is running i hope you don't i hope the mic doesn't catch it um it we will continue on it it makes me i think it makes me more nervous than it uh in the end uh, really bothers you so the front i decided that i want to have a bit of a slope going on here and i want to put the put the thrusters in here and the problem is with a slope you couldn't have this slope anymore so i reduced it removed it and now i have this in the front that gives me a bit more space for thrusters and i moved this bracket a bit to the front that um so that i can maybe put the the tanks and the the yeah the cargo uh, somewhere down here i made this and i think i decided to have a row of cargo down here if i can i will maybe go with a double row so have uh, maybe cargo or hydrogen on the bottom and above that i want to have cargo modules 
they are three by three. So let us take a look. Cargo. No, wrong one. And hydro. The hydrogen, I just want to, I will not really use it, but I want to carry a bit around with me. That should work. One, two, three, one, two, three, and I can leave the bottom open just a bit. That should work, and it fits into this area here. Nice, then I have it maybe sticking out a block or two down here. I want the, the cargo to be visible. I know that it is... Um, not maybe the best thing to do because then it's easily hit but i will also put cargo somewhere on the inside so that we can maybe hide it a bit better uh, and have it armored and also there will be shields um i have downloaded the shield mods i i, I think i talked about that already but um in one of the next episodes we will test that out i want to see how the the shields work and how they have to be set up let me see i need to constantly grab new new energy new o2 and all that stuff i don't want to run out of it uh, i don't know if i i will try if i can get to the to the hangar today or maybe we we split that off and do a bit of a, uh, a, a an episode about not finishing the hangar module but working on the hangar module. There's so much work that still needs to be done. You can see it's still completely open. Uh, I need to do the slopes. I need to uh, at least the weapons are in good shape. <laughs> That's a good thing. Um, the sides I need to work this out so these lines are not visible and then we need to close the sides and maybe have some brackets on the bottom too so it gets held in place yes okay from here now again I can pull this to the front and have maybe um, something down here we will start we will start somewhere here and ah no 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 we will start with a normal with a normal height because the bracket doesn't run over the full length and so um, I will have this bracket basically lead into the into what I want to have down here so what I want to have down here is a bit like um, these how they called on on uh, on ships some ships have these uh, on the on the bow they have down there have these these long things sticking out i think they they help with breaching the waves or something like that uh they they look uh phallic sometimes so i'm i'm not sure what that is and something something like that i i want to have here in the front but um with a bit of a different shape i think we will have it so this is the in-between deck so here are all the, the cables coming in so we run that from here and what I want I need this to be longer than the top one two three four five six seven eight nine one, two, three. And maybe we can go 
from here. Slow guy down. Have this slope to be that way. And now the question is how much one, two, one, two? It doesn't work out, but are we, we can make that work. Um, so, what I would like to have now is we will go in with no, no. Uh, uh, I? no I want to see if there's if there's anything enemy like in the in the area so we remove this the weapons for now and I need the light armor slopes and we go in with these slopes. Open this up again. It messes a bit with our, with the three by three measurement, but I think that's okay. And then go in with another slope like this. No. And hold that in place. I think this is a good shape. This will come out a bit to the front. Maybe I can have this lead into this in a in a good way. And then I want to make windows in between. So this front part definitely will have windows, but we will close that off with uh, an airlock so that I don't know, we, we could have, um, do I have, I have some, I think I have some, um, I have some decoration blocks in here and there is, there is plants in there. Maybe we can have a, a seating area with maybe some, some plants in there or something like that, that, that could be neat. Hmm this uh, and I need to pull in another built and repair system maybe this <laughs> this takes this takes awfully long at the moment um, maybe we can also put some I don't know some uh, the, the the front part here I will also make this go out again as some something similar like this so that I can have um, the slopes negated um, again we we don't need the slopes if we if we lead that into something else there and again I, I think that could be neat even even though it is a bit shorter but we will make it a bit wider to this side um, that gives it a, a different look it, it breaks up the shape a bit so that we don't end up having um, uh, yeah, a uniform shape from from the front to the back so um, that's I think a good thing to do. The line here is not bad. Uh, let me. The line here itself is not bad. And this, the, the whole hanger deck breaks it up anyways. Have this asymmetrical, um, I think makes it interesting. It isn't, it, it gives it something. It, it doesn't, it doesn't feel so bland. If I would just mirror it over and have the, the whole thing on the other side too, I think it would make it a bit more bland. The, the Empress before had also some similar things where it, where the form got broken up by the, the, the cockpit that was uh, there and then the bottom was open. And I, I don't have that here, but um, again, the, the whole, 
the whole shape gets broken up by by having the, the hanger here i need to do some more things on this flat side here the flat side what is this uh, scatter cannon drone okay it should this should get attacked in a bit let us let us wait for a moment some people wanted to see <laughs> combat footage at the moment there is not a lot of combat footage because at one point all the guns start to fire uh, and most of the time things then get killed so I will get get away from here because <laughs> the guns still fire and don't respect me in that regard so good with these it worked out again i i i just wait for the next for the next shield drone um i hope that i'm not nicked in the butt again with these okay uh but people i think i will end the episode here um we discussed the plan for the the bow here and now that I have a good position for the the thrusters, I can continue working with that. This again I will move this part to the outside, I think. Yes, and then have this lead to the front. Um starting somewhere from here that should work out and then i have space for some weapons here can also have some defense weapons here in the front maybe add some on the on the bottom here too that would be neat just some of the the defense turrets but i also need to think about um yeah hard hitting weapons to the bottom so uh, that's one thing i i usually overlook i need to put some of these um turrets uh, upgraded turrets and these need upgrading too so the upgraded turret i need them to the bottom and to the top so that we don't have any uh, angles that we can't defend um yeah and some Ah, it's <laughs> I'm constantly constantly planning yeah uh, the next by the way the next episodes I hope I can bring out pretty uh, pretty without problems uh, after that there might be some changes because I might start a new job that um, yeah could lead to some things I need to do different when it comes to YouTube and I hope that I can manage that all this this should work but it it should work out it I will I I will get back on the whole YouTube train at the moment it's with with being sick and all that stuff it's not <laughs> I'm I'm running into problems with it, but I will get back and on uh, into it because I also need to continue seven days to die, and I need to see what what else we can we can do. What did I do on the back, by the way, with the defense sets? Okay, I have them. Just I just put them on there. I, I will do that on the front too. Good people, and uh, outside the the yard work. Uh, gets more and more i'm not sure again if my microphone picks that up good people thanks for watching hope you liked the episode if you did then please leave a like on the video and i hope to see you in the next one see ya guys